glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Today I would like to continue with the confessions of curses. I would like to speak on the topic of inheritance. We know that the children of Israel were brought back into Egypt or to bondage with ships and they were made to suffer many curses. And one of these curses, and part of these curses, was the discontinuance of, of their inheritance. I will be reading from Deuteronomy and Jeremiah, and it reads, The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow, and the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, in that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy power, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand, or to the left, to go after other powers to serve them. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and shall overtake thee. Okay, here what I want to focus on, he stated that the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his seasons. So, so the children of Israel would have their own land. But he said if they would not hearken that these curses were going to come upon them and they would lose their land. Now let's go to Jeremiah to see what that means. The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with a point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. Whilst their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. O my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil and thy high places for sin throughout all thy borders and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy in a land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So they will discontinue from their heritage and the land. So let's look up the definition of heritage. It means the status, conditions, or character acquired by being born into a particular family or social class, a country's area history and historical buildings and sites that are considered to be of interest and value to the present generations. Something that something that passes from one generation to the next in a social group. For example, a way of life or tradition, culture. The celebration of Passover is part of the Jew heritage. Property or land that is or can be passed on to an heir. If you notice that I crossed out the Jewish part because we are Hebrew Israelites and Jews, and it baffled me. It's I was in shock when I saw the celebration of Passover. That really, you know, disarray put me in disarray. Society knows who the true children of Israel is. And the Most High said that he would He would pour out the heavens on our land. But if we did not follow the law, statutes, and commandments, we would discontinue from our land. And we did. Because the curses have been fulfilled. And still being fulfilled until this day. And if you look around, you can see the so-called Native Americans, so-called Negroes and Hispanics. We do not have a land to call our own. And even if they, and even if we had a piece of land, we still pay taxes, we're in bad shape. 
and, and it's not blessed at all. I confess this before the world and the Most High so that he can once again dwell in our presence. He shall be our Father and we his children forever. Those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying.